What is up everybody, welcome back for another video of Diablo 3. So in this video we are gonna talk about the impale build that you can use for a 4 player greater rift. This means you need the barbarian, support monk, witch doctor and you as the guardian killer. So for this build you need all the pieces of the shadows. When you have all the pieces you will get the second set bonus. This will increase your damage if you are holding a melee weapon. The fourth set bonus, you will get every skill room from Shadow Power. This will give you more sustain, movement speed, damage reduction, and it will also slow enemies around you. Six set bonus, Impale deals 40,000 damage, and that's why we are using Impale. For the belt, we are using Witching Hour. Why? Because you can roll attack speed critical chance on it. For our braces, we are using Lacunis Prowlers. What the fuck, wh whatever, because we can roll attack speed on it. We want to have a lot of attack speed, a lot of quick to good chance and damage, and this bridge will help us to get that. For our ring, um, we are using Stone of Jordan. This will increase the damage to elites, and it will also give us more lightning damage. For our other ring, we are using Compass Rose, and also Traveler's Pledge for more damage while standing still, and you will get damage reduction while moving. For our weapon, we are using Carlisle's Point. Our impel will return hatred when hitting a monster, so we won't run out of hatred anymore. And as last, the Quiver, Holy Point Shot. Impel throws two additional knives, and they will also do 40,000 weapon damage from your 6 piece bonus. And this quiver is making this build very strong and it is also the reason why this is one of the best builds for the Demon Hunter right now. And everybody is playing it. So for the Kanai's Cube, Dawn, more cooldown reduction on Vengeance. We also want to use Aquila Caress. You want to make sure you are keeping your hatred up otherwise you will lose this effect. And as last, Convention of Elements, when it turns on Lightning you will do massive 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 damage so for the skills I will explain the skills but I would like you to read them also by yourself even when it has a fucked art blizzard language who, which nobody understands but just read it so for the first skill impale ricochet this will be your damage dealer and because we are using ricochet we will get more hatred back. Shadow Power, it doesn't matter what you choose here because the fourth set piece bonus will give you every skill rune. But you want to read everything over here so you know what uh, Shadow Power is giving you. It is buffing everything. So for our next skill, Marked for Death, Valley of Death. This will mark the enemies and they take more additional damage. So you are doing more damage. Vault Tumble, since we don't use Storm Arm Braces, we want to fall to the next monster location. This will help us with faulting a lot more because it will reduce the cost of Vault by 50% the second time you use it. Vengeance, Dark Heart, this will give you more damage reduction and it will increase your damage. And as last, Companion, Wolf, Wolf Companion, whatever. When you activate this, you will get increased damage, but also your team will do a little bit more damage. So it's a great skill for the 4 player meta. For our passives, single out, this will increase the critical chance by 25% against enemies who are more than 20 yards away. Our next skill will be steady aim. All damage is increased by 20% if there is no enemies within 10 yards. Um, ambush, you deal more damage against enemies who are above 75% health. And as last, Gall of the Weak, increase damage against slowed or chilled monsters by 20%. And we are slowing all of them because of our shadow power. So for the states, for your headgear, dextery, critical chance and impale damage. For your armor, dextery, critical chance and impale damage. For your shoulders, dextery, vitality, all resist and cooldown reduction. For your necklace, lightning damage, critical chance and critical damage. For your gloves, dextery, attack speed, critical chance and critical damage. For your belt, dextery, vitality, attack speed and critical chance. 
for your braces, dexterity, lightning damage, attack speed, critical chance and vitality, stone of jordan, lightning damage, critical chance, damage to elites, for your pants, dexterity, vitality, all resist, for your other ring, dexterity, attack speed, critical chance and damage, for your carlisle's point, percent damage, weapon damage, dexterity, attack speed, and for your boots, dexterity, fatality, all resistance, impel damage. For your quiver, the last one, dexterity, lightning damage, attack speed, quick to good chance, and impel damage. So how to play this demon hunter? You want to find a team with a barbarian, witch doctor, support monk. You just want to shoot on the monsters, cast mark for dead and wolf companion, and make sure you are hitting the elites. Lure some monsters to the group that has been created by the barbarian and have some trust in your team and that's everything you have to do. At the end you really want to hit the end boss because you are probably doing the most damage. So this was the video, thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked it, if you did leave a comment below, like and subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification, it is next to the subscribe button and then I will see you tomorrow.